Hi everyone, this is Dr. Carla and this is my lovely patient Erin. We are just about to do a filling for her. So we're going to walk you through the process of how we do it. We're going to numb Erin up and then we're going to show you why her tooth needs to be filled. Okay, so what we're going to do first is put some numbing cream on Erin's gum, and this numbing cream tastes like bubble gum, so lucky Erin. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to put the numbing cream on. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to numb Erin up. Numbing Erin's tooth means that she won't feel any pain during the procedure. You can still feel a bit of pressure, but no pain. It can sting a little bit when it goes in, so we've given Erin a little stress ball. Uh -huh. Do you want to rinse or anything? No, no, no. Okay. One of these teeth needs filling, but it's hard to tell which one it is, isn't it? It's that one. The reason we know this tooth needs a filling is because we can see it on the x-ray. This is why x-rays are so valuable. Fixing a cavity when it's nice and small is better for your tooth and less expensive to fix than a big hole. Decay is a softening of the tooth. To fix the tooth, we need to remove the soft bits using different shaped drill bits until we get back to nice, firm, healthy tooth structure. You can see in the photo on the right, the brown decay. Now we just get out the last bits of decay. Erin's cavity is between her teeth. If we were to just put the filling in, it would spread out everywhere and she wouldn't be able to floss properly and food would get stuck. So what we're doing here is using something called a matrix. It forms a barrier and a nice shape so that when we put the filling material in, it's exact the shape that we want so food will not get stuck between her teeth and she'll be able to floss nicely. Once we've finished putting the filling material in, all the matrix comes out. Now you can see me bonding in the white filling to Erin's tooth. The filling material is called resin composite and it goes in soft so that it can adapt to the exact shape of Erin's cavity and so there's no gaps anywhere. We use the blue light which is blue from the white light spectrum to activate the filling material so it sets really nice and hard. You can see we've got that orange paddle there that's just to protect our eyes because the blue light is very intense. Once all the filling material is in, we take the matrix off, polish it out, check with the floss, and finally check the bite. Erin's filling is all done. Can't even tell, it gets a gold star. Okay, Erin, how did you go with your filling? Um, it was great, thanks, Carla. Well, can we start that again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did, um, it was surprisingly uh, easy. Not feel anything with the injection and was comfortable all the way through. Great. And so we're just going to run through your post operative instructions. So, what uh, you should look out for now that you've had your filling. So, the first thing is you're going to be numb for the next couple of hours. Mm -hmm. So, your feeling is fine, your feeling is set, we're not worried about the feeling. It's that you might bite your cheek or your lip while you're numb. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for the next couple of hours, just if you want to have something to eat or drink, make sure that it's nothing that you have to chew. So, soup. Tea, coffee, all those things are fine. You can't feel temperature, so nothing too hot though. So just make sure that if you do have something to eat or drink, that it's not super hot. Okay. The other thing is, now that you've had your filling, your gum, where you've had your injection and the gum between the teeth and around the tooth might be a little bit tender. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do some warm salty water mouth rinsing if you need it, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. The tooth itself might also be a little bit sensitive to um, hot or cold for a couple mm -hmm. of days, just because we had a little hole in there, we've gone and uh, adjusted the tooth, so the tooth might just need a couple of days to settle down. If, however, it's sore to bite on, 
then you come back and let us know as soon as possible because if it's slow to bite on, it's very annoying for your tube. All right, but other yeah. than that, it should be great. Thank you. Thanks for being such a great patient. We'll see you next time. <laughs>